Today, I'm gonna to show you how to properly fit a catch can setup onto an Evo. So now the Evo no longer has the original aftermarket air filter. I can't use the solution that was in place for rerouting the cam cover breather pipe back through the intake pipe. So I needed a new solution. So I searched high and low on the internet for the proper solution, looked at so many pictures, asked so many people, and nobody seemed to know what they needed to do. And it was very confusing, and so many cars that I've actually physically seen here in Sweden have an incorrect setup, which means that they have springs holding the dipstick in place and all kinds of crazy shit to stop the pressure because they don't have the proper solution for breathing the vapor and gases coming out the top of the engine. So I thought it'd be useful to do this video to show you the solution that I've come up with based on what I believe is the best way to do this and that is using two catch cans. So you've got a catch can that breathes to atmosphere that goes on the outlet side of the cam cover and then you've got a catch can that recirculates on the intake side, the PCV side, the intake manifold side um, of the engine and that's what makes the Evo to me anyway pretty unique. So let's have a look first at the engine and I'll show you what I'm on about and then let's Let's have a look at what I've bought. So you can see what I'm on about here. The original solution was having this pipe here going into the intake pipe. And when I took the original intake pipe off, it was full of oil and crap and film and stuff because that's what they do. So I needed something better than that. There's nothing happening at all on this side, which is the PCV side. That's just going straight from there, straight into the intake manifold. But like I say, that's what makes the Evo kind of different for me is that this side here, which has obviously been modified, this has got an AN10 uh, male adapter on it already. But this here supposedly is for letting air in to the cam cover and an air is supposedly circulating and passing through the cam cover, sort of clean air coming through. And it's passing out here through the PCV valve and the vacuum from the intake manifold is pulling the vapor and shit into the intake manifold. And obviously under various load and speed conditions where you don't have much of a vacuum and so on, then this side also is able to sort of breathe out as well as it needs to, depending on whether you're high or low speed. So really, to me, complicated system. <laughs> now with the other work that I've been doing on the car, I removed the charcoal canister, which is down there on the floor, because I still need to find a slightly better solution than I have implemented for that. But I have that space there underneath the Cusco strut brace. So I thought that'd be a cool place to put a set of catch cans, as I've determined I now need. Um, one running here into catch can onto filter and then MOT time, pop the filter off, get a second pipe here and just have a T in it so it can go straight into there, then whip it off again when the MOT is finished. And then the second can, which will be the back one I'm assuming, that'll go from PCV to catch can, top out the catch can in to inlet manifold. So that is the solution that supposedly is the one. So once I'd worked out the correct way to do it, as far as I know, but I think this is the correct way to do it, uh, I needed to find a twin catch can, a nice solution, something that used AN fittings, etc., etc., and ideally something that I could kind of put together off the shelf. I tried a company called Radium, and if you do a search on the internet for dual catch cans, Radium comes up. Their service is shite. I don't usually like to deal with people that don't seem to want to make money, and they just didn't seem interested in my money whatsoever. I asked them if they had a solution for the Evo, no they didn't you'd have to make one up I said can you give me some advice on what kind of pipes I might need or anything I've not done this before no they couldn't found a distributor in Sweden couldn't get in touch with them they never replied and one of them replied like weeks later and then he wouldn't reply after that asked Radium and said can you help me out your distributors in Sweden aren't doing what they should be doing which is selling your fucking product and Radium said oh yeah just buy it from us in America it's like no you're kind of failing to understand what I'm trying to do here which is be a customer and you're failing to be a business so I thought fuck you you don't deserve my money I'll find another solution and luckily I did this is a solution that I came up with um, it's a company called speeding performance parts they make a lot of their own stuff I think they're here in Sweden or Norway but their service was epic so I emailed them said what I wanted to do and they understood that I was a customer wanting to give them money and they gave me a lot of advice on the different types of pipe work all the different AN fittings and they helped me build up a system and then went over it with me to make sure that I got all the right stuff so I didn't have an issue and got it to me next day delivery absolutely brilliant love companies like 
like that. So I'll be dealing with them a lot more, I hope, in the future. So let's have a look at what is in the box. Okay, so we've got some AN10 braided hose. This is to go for the crankcase breather, the intake side, not the PCV side. We've got some AN6, two meters, that's one meter. I'll need another meter of that for when I need to reroute it for MOT time course two meters of an6 this is nine mil in turn diameter this is for the pcv side catch can we've got the hurricane 19 mil crankcase filter so that's going to be in operation most of the time when i'm not taking the car for the test and that's going to sit on the second can from the intake side that's going to be the outlet on the intake side god this is complicated got an6 so it's an10 to an6 adapter that's going to go on the catch can on the PCV side to allow me to plug stuff in. We've got an AN12 to 19mm barbed connector which is going to fit on the breather filter and that's going to fit on the outlet of the catch can for the intake side. We've got another AN10 to AN6 for the PCV side for me to fit stuff too. We've got 90 degree AN10 connector there that's going to go on the top of the crankcase, the intake side, and that's going to be from the crankcase, it's going to come in here into the top of the catch can. Then we've got 45 degree AN10, which is going to go on the cam cover, the crankcase itself. So that's going to be the outlet from the crankcase to the pipe to this the plan then we've got an an10 to an12 so that's going to sit on the second catch can um, and then that's going to take that like that and then the breather filter on it then we've got an an10 to an10 which is going to be the top of the crankcase breather catch can then we've got a straight an6 connector which is going to be coming out of the catch can going to the intake manifold and then we've got a 90 degree an6 connector which is going to go on top of the pcv side catch can which is going to be the pipe coming off the pcv valve and then last but not least this should be our super cool little twin catch can Okay, so this is, it's not the lightest thing in the world, I'll admit, I will weigh it, but the quality on this thing is brilliant. It's got a little pore on the bottom of each can so you can drain them off and I believe they do unscrew. There we go. Let's have a look at what's inside. So little filter there, which is just some steel wool, I think. So you've got, this is the inlet side from the cam cover, uh, etc., And this is the outlet side where it's all nice and clean. Um, and it just gathers in there. I think it's 0.35 is the size of it, 0.35 litres. So it's 0.7 litres in total, both of them. And then we've got a little dipstick here. So you can see how much shit is in your uh, catch can. So let's now build this little system up temporarily so we can then put it on the car and work out fitment etc. I've already spotted a potential problem which is that the blow off valve on the car is right in the way of where these will exit so that could be a problem but we will reach that bridge when we come to it. Righty. So I've already cheated. I've moved the SSQV out of the way and I've fitted the little adapter into it so it makes a nicer noise because I had a spare one that came with the car. So I've moved this out of the way as far away as it can go for now and that gives me plenty of room to mount this on there like that. So I just need to take the bracket off here and then get working out the holes that I need etc to get that mounted up and then we can do that and start looking at the pipe work. Okay, I've got my holes drilled now and I've tested it, it does fit. So just need to get this on the car and then we can start building up the catch cans, hopefully. Uh, I have 
also redone this bracket here which is holding the battery terminal posts on i've redone that because i wanted something that was slimmer and more in line with this because the other one wasn't and i also wanted something that wouldn't require spacers because it did end here and it was thicker but now i've made it thinner and longer it means that this can sit on there kind of looking a lot a lot tidier i think that's probably just the me thing but there we go So I realized as I was starting to install the catch can for the crankcase breather side, the inlet side, I realized that my 45 degree idea, so this is with the pipe cut down, going from there to there, I kind of realized that that didn't really have any flex in it. And obviously the engine's moving, that isn't. So I decided instead that I'm going to go for 90 degree on here this is the original one i'm not going to use this i've ordered some new stuff from speeding.nu uh, i'm going to go 90 degrees on there and then sort of 90 degrees on there and then have a curved pipe there so it's going to have a bit more flex and give in it so got to wait for that stuff to arrive so i will start doing the other tank now for the pcv instead and hopefully we can get that done All right, so that's it with the second catch tank for the PCV intake manifold side. You can see there I've kind of tidied it all up. Uh, I'm gonna redo this pipe here because I didn't get this quite perfect into the thread of the AN6 connector. So I wanna redo that, but that side is done. And now we've got the replacement pipe work and replacement bits from speeding uh speeding.nu here have arrived so i can now crack on with building up this side so this is another one meter length that i've got um i can crack on building this side up and then that should be it we should have the catch cans done and then we can give the car a try with them which of course i've not been able to do for probably a month or so now a month or two probably um, while i've been doing other things hopefully we can get the car used again. So let's uh, get on with it.
And just like that, we are done. I say just like that. It's not been the quickest job ever, but I've tidied up all the cables now. Everything's nice and tight. Everything's in place. Like I say, when it comes to MOT time, I'm just gonna, I've got a second one of these, 60 degree, 80 mil pipe. I'm just gonna put a self-sealing T in there and then run from there, take this off, which is an M12, and I've got an AN10 and an AN10, 90 degree, to go on there to keep the test men happy. But other than that, that is it, done and dusted. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching this and please feel free to comment if I've done anything wrong or if I'm inaccurate with what I'm saying, but I honestly believe that this is the solution that you need on a PCV equipped car like the Evo twin can setup. So there you go, until the next video.